Hi everyone, this is Eskon from Online Tools Tutorials. In today's presentation, I am going to share with you how to create a Google Classroom. So initially, you need to log in to your or sign in to your Gmail account. Okay, after signing in, it will take you to, to the page of, uh, of uh, Google Apps. It's taking a little time. Okay, so go to this uh, nine dots and click on Google Apps. Then choose Google Classroom. Okay, so now we are now on the page of uh, Google Classroom. Uh, first of all, I am going to create a class. Okay, create class and then continue. Type the information that you need because this will appear in the cover page. So let's say summer course. Just give me a little time. I'm filling in the information so that I can show you reading and writing, for example. And which room? All right. So these are now the information for your cover page. And then create. So in, uh, in Google Classroom, using Google Classroom, you can uh, add all the stuff, all the materials that you need for uh, for teaching and you can use google classroom for for uh, flip grid or for a uh, flip classroom so now uh, this is now the uh, the cover page of your online class now there are other things that you can do here you can select theme so if you are teaching uh, English or history, click on this. Alright, so you can choose from uh, this. Or if you are teaching arts, there you go. Okay, so for example, me, I am going to click on English and history and I will choose uh, this one. So select theme. So this is now the... Uh, the theme of your uh, classroom you can also upload the photo as you like and get it from your gallery or from your uh, files now that you have created your uh, your cover page for your uh, classroom as well as the theme you have selected it we are now going to go to uh, to people okay so on this section you can find two headings teachers and students so for teachers if you like to add a uh, collaborator or a colleague then you can simply click on this and type the email address of your uh, of your colleague or or a friend if you like them to collaborate with your online uh, classroom now for students just click on this and type the email address of your students. If your students are in the list of your uh, of your Gmail, when you begin typing the name, it will come automatically. Okay, like this. So you just need to select. Then um, keep keep on typing the names or the the email address, and automatically they will appear like this one. So you have to take uh, you have to to. Uh, tell your students that to check their uh, their inbox or to check their emails and and uh, accept the invite in in other case if if the email address is not uh, accepted in G in uh, Google classroom just simply go back to your uh, uh, cover page and this is the class code give this to the student and they can enroll themselves automatically after creating the list of your students, it's now time to upload your materials. 
So click on classwork and you can see down below create Google Calendar and Class Drive folder. All these things will be explained to you on the next tutorials. So first thing is to create or to organize topics. How are you going to do that? Click Create. Then go to Topic. Write the topic. Let's say Syllabus. Okay, click Add. Go to the next topic. What do you want to... What's the topic? Let's say... Uh, group discussion rules let's say then add it's taking a little time so you can create as many topics as you like and then from that topic there was an error please try again okay so it is there create another topic go to topic again and write a uh, marking guide okay add mm -hmm. and uh, create another topic you can create as many topics as you like so how are you going to organize this which topic would you like to come first so let's say syllabus you want this to be on top click on these dots and move up okay move up there you go so it's there on top and uh, here okay now how are you going to upload the um, the materials for syllabus click again create and go to material then from here you type syllabus okay syllabus 2020 at the description add the link so it's coming from the file so select files from your device so let's say this is the one it's just an example open so it's there upload okay so now would you like to post it right away or you like to edit it so click on this cursor and save dropped there you go so syllabus is there on top it's outside the topic how are you going to do that put the cursor here and click it down there there you go so it is now organized now let's say you want to upload uh, materials for the marking guide click again here go to material and and uh, type marking guide okay be sure that it begins with capital letter sorry for that marking guide and add so uh, file select files Let's say here online assessment okay and upload do you want to post it right away not yet so click save dropped okay so it's there on top again where are you going to put it under the topic marking guide and group discussion rules you want to upload materials go to material uh, write the title gd guide okay add add the file select files and upload that's it you want to post it not yet so save as dropped okay organize it bring it down to the topic there you go so the, uh, the, the materials are organized now properly so topics topic topic and the materials is inside it now you want to publish it you want to show this to your students what are you going to do so put the cursor there click on this edit and post 
that's it so now they can the students can read it you want to uh, post this you want this to be uh, visible to your students edit post and post there you go this one you don't want to show them so leave it like that so this is how you are going to go to uh, organize your uh, materials on uh, Google Classroom. This ends my short presentation. There is a quiz right after this. Thanks for watching. Coming up next, how to create online quiz using Google Forms. Don't forget to click subscribe.